Greetings, everyone. Bonsoir. Moi, c'est Alexandra Jean-Joseph. And today, we honor the philosophy and the spirit of our founding father, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Jodi a nap honore Papa Dessalines avec danse banda, qui te yon nan danse li pire men. It is a dance of life and a dance of joy. Bonne fête, Papa Dessalines. Que de nimbo y manonse, y manonse a se on agoe. Que de nimbo y manonse, y manonse a se on agoe. are the seeds. We are the seeds they meant to plant. Make way for the new ancestors. One life ends, another begins. On est, on est, oh, la maison. Eh. On est, on est, oh, la maison. Eh. Si c'est grand monde qui l'a, ma entrée. Si c'est grand monde qui l'a, Ma entre, si c'est tout mon qui l'a, ma vie est domale. Si c'est tout mon qui l'a, ma vie est domale. Si c'est tout mon qui l'a.
Ah, okay. Nous comptons well. Bienvenue. Nous, nous connaissons, nous là pour nous célébrer, pour nous jam, pour nous donner une grosse force, une grosse pouvoir, une équipe qu'on accomplit, pour nous ramasser énergie, force, pouvoir, accomplissement. Welcome. We are here to celebrate this fabulous guy who was at the head of an army that whipped three armies, Spanish, British, and French, in order to give Haiti independence. We're here to celebrate him so we can connect and capture the energy of strength, courage, power, determination, so we can put our earth on the right trail. Welcome. Nous comptons well. Nous avons salué le drapeau de l'Iban. Nous de l'ambi rassemblement qui a dit nous sembler sembler force yo sembler sembler énergie nous pour nous faire ça nous besoin fait nous te fait déjà nous ca faire encore yes the conch sounded to tell us come on get together put your strength together just like the ant see how tiny they are but if they have to carry a a cow, uh, um, any kind of animal, any kind of anything. They examine the weight and then bring the number of ant necessary to carry it away. We are never weak. We just have to learn to put whatever we have together in order to get the work done. So let's see what some of our people in Africa, what are they saying about celebrating this strength, this powerhouse, this life power, who was nourished with millenniums of memories. Let's listen to what our brothers and sisters in Africa have to say. Ankute sati munyo o pip munyo an Afrique ki sa yo disu Jean Jacques Dessalines. En Bolani, nous disons merci à Papa Dessali, le général noir, pour sa lutte pour la justice et de la paix. Honneur à toi, Papa Dessali, que ton énergie enveloppe l'Afrique et l'accompagne. Merci, Akiba, tes enfants depuis le Gabon. This is Dr. Ya Elombe. I am here in Cartagena, Colombia, and I want to say happy birthday to the founder, the general, and the emperor of IET. Happy birthday, Papa de Salin. When we honor you, we honor ourselves. Thank you, thank you. Continue to protect and bless us. 
Happy birthday. Good morning, Hotep. This is Professor James Small, and I'm joining the Felicite Foundation in the African world and wishing our great emperor and liberator, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, a happy, happy 265th birthday, Earth Day. Thank you, Emperor, for being among us and for coming to us, and we pray that the ancestors allow you to continue to guide us in our struggle for freedom. We, in your words, say, liberty or death, freedom or death. Thank you, beloved Emperor. We love you still. Ah, wow. We nous sommes des Gabon, Cartagena, et en Amérique, d'ailleurs, qui dit Baba James Moore, dit nous la parler pour toute l'Afrique, parce que toute l'Afrique qui est intéressée à sa cafette là. We are very, very, very happy that our people all over the world are with us celebrating this powerhouse of life. Let's continue and see what else is happening. Tocar mãe Freire do Brasil e estou comemorando a sabedoria e a força de ori do general Jean Jacques de Salines que levou a Haiti à independência. Estou muito feliz de me conectar com vocês e aumentar o meu discernimento e a minha inspiração dentro dessa celebração. Imperador Jacques, desfrute um fabuloso 265º ano de força da terra, com poder. Enquanto o Senhor e os nossos ancestrais nutrem Haiti para que ela possa recuperar a sua visão e determinação de liberdade e prosperidade para todos os seus filhos. Axé o Ireu. Bolo, hotep a tous. Hommage et respect à notre libérateur, l'empereur Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Que son énergie continue à nous inspirer et à nous accompagner. Qu'elle continue à faire de nous des hommes et des femmes combatifs et décomplexé. Bonne célébration et bonne commémoration à tous. Kadia Sumuela du Gabon. We're celebrating the 265th Earth Strong Day for Desaline, the founders of Haiti. Cheers. Ah oui, Noruega, bon, Haïti, uh, États-Unis, Congo, passé à saluer uh, libérateur Haïti, uh, qui en fait, de pour libérer, si nous comprenons bien, nous ne pas gagner, nous, pour le monde, esclavage tout partout. Tout peuple noir, tout peuple rouge, tout peuple, ah, peuple rouge, là, il y a un génocide. Tout peuple, tout peuple jaune, tout en bas code, en bas, tout en bas code, tout a subi esclavage sous forme ou bon lot. Et puis, ti Haïti, ti zile ça, le ve campé, li krasé l'armée panyol, l'armée britannique, l'armée français, li décrété indépendance. Et ben donc fait ça. C'est tout donné monde là qui virait tête en bas, oui, changer. Avec que tout noir ces esclaves là, ça ça mourir là pour là. C'est ça pour nous comprendre. Donc mouvement qui fait en Haïti en 1800 1790 à 1820 
son mouvement qui est défié, j'en monde là qui établi. Donc c'est tout le monde qui t'est bénéficié, non sens ou bien l'autre. Et c'est pour ça où aujourd'hui, les gens commencent à comprendre l'histoire Haïti. Pas que le monde a dit merci Haïti. Merci pour nous songer et tout. Là, nous, par exemple, Brésilien, Colombien, euh, Vénézuélien, c'est parce que Haïti te voyait te bay la jan, le bay zam, le bay bateau, le bay moun pour al goumé et de yon goumé pour yon vin lib. Soit le Kito, par exemple, statut de saline, c'est 24 sur 24, oui, militaire a bay statut de saline. Sécurité, statut, oui. Statut. Donc, sous comprendre qui est souye, qui moun ou qui sa identité ou yé comme haïtien. Identité ou, c'est pas ça qui fait. C'est pas ça qui fait. C'est pas fait sous terre qui fait. C'est connaissance l'essence l'histoire. C'est comprendre ces quatre éléments essentiels qui fabriquent contre les haïtiens. Liberté, justice, prospérité, santé, pouvoir. Attention, l'homme dit justice, mais il dit santé. Parce que santé biologique, son justice liée. Et santé sociale, c'est justice du relève. Donc, songez. Identité ou c'est liberté, justice, santé, prospérité, pouvoir. C'est quatre éléments qui font ou c'est haïtien. On continue de goûter, on continue de goûter. Qui ça a gagné pour nous? Qui l'autre nous a présenté nous? Et si vous avez oh, eh bien, je vais profiter, je vais tourner sous dans ce que vous avez dossier. De Saline, tout le monde parlait de grands militaires, gros stratèges, gros visionnaires. Oui, c'est vrai. Mais il faut nous dire tout son grand danseur. Tout le monde qui écrit sous lui dans la période de l'idou, c'est lui qui est plus grand danse dans la période de l'idou. Pas qu'on danse, lui, pas qu'on danse. Mais là, nous réfléchis, qui ça danse? Est-ce que danse, c'est juste brasser, on vire, quoi, ou sous musique? Non. Là, nous avons essence compréhension, danse. Danse, c'est contrôle espace par mouvement. C'est ça qu'on fait. Plus ou gen contrôle, qui mouvement ou mette son espace, plus ou son fin danse. Et sous son fin danse, ou son fin militaire. Militaire, kap occupe espace, kap fait stratégie pour prendre territoire, yo pa gen droit par contre danse. C'est là nous pas de comprendre on pile bagaille même bagaille là tout des salines sont fin cuisinier dit qu'on fait manger des pile il fait manger pour 3000 4000 5000 membres troupli et tout le monde compte à manger ça ça fait manger aïe. fait manger ou mettre un paquet de bagaille différent ensemble non seul chantier pour le bar un bagaille extraordinaire toute bouche remet son gros bagay. Donc, nous non société injuste, yon méprise yon paquet de métier. Mais si nous te gèm pour comprendre, moun gap fait manger pour ou. Puis pendant m'ap dit ça, m'ap tout dit Marlène, kap préparé pour nous dans Fondation Félicité. Merci. Jeda, merci. S'amuse, merci. Oui. Donc, c'est dans L'en a analysé et sens tout ça, monsieur, ça a fait. Et n'a pas gardé l'inan. Toute forme, nous, elle l'a accompli. Donc, danser, il n'y a pas ton danser pour danser. D'ailleurs, elle va demander Euphémi Dagi, femme au caï, un chorégraphe. Elle va demander he, He's gonna ask Euphémi Dagi. Sometimes I forget, I have to use both languages. 
he asked of Afeni Dagi from Hokai to create a dance because he was being so criticized because he goes with his weapon on a dance floor and that was not the protocol. So he says, create us a dance that you dance with weapons. Problem solved. That's why you see the genius of the guy, the visionary. And so we have that in our blood. We are capable of being visionaries, of solving problems. Nothing is impossible. When you say impossible, possible is there. So look for it. There is no problem that has no solution. And oppressors cannot bring solutions to problems they create. We have to embody our ability to envision the world we want. And we must make it happen. Are we ready for the next element? qui sorti Marigo dans le département sud-est Haïti. Nous voulons souhaiter général Jean-Jacques Dessalines, libérateur Haïti, papa nation, yon 265e l'année l'ani foster qui puissant en pile. Pas gen Dessalines sans Haïti, pas gen Haïti sans Dessalines. Nous continuons à fêter Dessalines tout le temps. Getan. Il met ses yon grain haïtien qui était sous la terre. N'a fêté des salines. Tout autant moun ka parlé de liberté, n'a fêté des salines. Des salines, c'est tout temps gaitan. Pour Félix Maurice le roi Tadi et même Jean tout haïtien ta ka di. Merci papa des salines. Nous faisons ce temps de vous dire dans les peines. You are ici. Un Haitian guy who was for a number of years a fine volunteer at Fondation Félicité and wrote his first book while using the documentary at Fondation Félicité. Uh, so, thank you, Pen. Well, what is I mentioned a little while ago four elements to our identity. First one is liberty, freedom. What is freedom? Are you free when you have no control as to what you eat? And therefore, you have no control as to how healthy you will be. Are you free if you cannot communicate to the universe, to Mother Nature, or the divine in your own way? Are you free? Are you free if you are in a society that makes you feel your, the way you look is not good? Your this or that is too big. Are you free? Are you free if you cannot choose where you live? What kind of housing you live in? Question what you are calling freedom today. 
are you free? If you go to schools that don't teach you about your own artistry, are you free? If you're reading history books, tons of them, and not a single woman is mentioned, are you free? We need to seriously evaluate and define freedom for ourselves because freedom is the primary, the number one essential pillar of our identity. Freedom, liberté. Nous obligé questionner, définir, travail, mot liberté, ça, afin qu'on connaît bien, concept liberté, afin de travailler. Sou pas qu'à manger, sans penser de bon pour vous. Ou prend par exemple un pile dans le pays, nous, yo. Yo interdit, yo planter. Ou bien si pour planter, si pour faire l'agriculture, c'est ça, blanc ou planter, c'est ça pour planter. Mais pas ça que fait nous qui bon nous la santé. Haïtien, par exemple, faut que nous mangez vive. We have to eat something called vive. Foods that grown underground. That's an essential part of our diet. When we're out, out of the country, we can't find it for the most part. Donc, faut que liberté pour faire agriculture vous voulez faire. Faut que liberté pour santé ou c'est dans main on lié pour gain liberté pour l'éducation petit tout fait j'en dois faire selon qui coton y est et qui l'histoire non moi charrier liberté réfléchis sous lui concept définition on garder qui ça y a pour nous encore qui l'autre ça y a ban nous ta espéré si nous y vont côté nous besoin doublon bagay son petit morceau dans danse là qui pour ta réparer li mettre réparer plusieurs fois parce que danse là important nous t'ai fait toute diligence aujourd'hui a choix vinn danser dans la cour félicité mais nous avons pile difficulté pour contact internet là pour nous capables de jouer ce qu'a fait dans la cour félicité mais nous continuons à faire cher fort peut-être avant de finir là nageons nos chances nous connaissons monter drapeau déjà en nous qui ça a bon nous encore Badagri pral bale ari aso yeme Badagri pral bale ari aso yeme Ayi bobo Akiwa Ayo Gratitude 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 Son Excellence Jacques Premier C'est normal, il est normal Que nous puissions te dire notre gratitude, notre reconnaissance Mille fois mais aujourd'hui, en ce temps difficile, nous voulons d'abord que tu ailles chercher le général de brigade Jean-Jacques de Saline, général des armées, vainqueur de nos ennemis. Papa de Saline, papi de Saline, nous, tes arrières petits-fils et petites filles, on vient de demander ton esprit, ton énergie, ton esprit de guerrier. Ton esprit de combattant, ton esprit de stratège, ton esprit de vainqueur, ton esprit de libérateur. Car les temps sont venus. Tu nous as aidé une première fois à casser les chaînes de nos pieds et de nos mains. Aujourd'hui, aux quatre coins de l'univers, nous avons besoin de casser les chaînes de nos têtes, de notre mental et à affronter notre ennemi. Il n'a pas changé. C'est le même et tu le connais mieux que quiconque. Aujourd'hui, viens nous commander. Viens devant nous. Ramène avec toi tous tes bataillons. Tous les bataillons de tes aînés. Tous les bataillons de tes cadets. Venez aujourd'hui. 
épauler tous les panafricanistes, tous les Kamites partout dans le monde, et en particulier au Mali, au Burkina Faso, au Niger, au Centrafrique et dans tous les endroits sur cette terre où nous sommes aux prises avec nos ennemis, pour que nous ayons une fois encore la victoire, la libération, liberté Liberté. 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 Vive Papa de Saline. Vive Papa de Saline. Vive Papa de Saline. Vive Papa de Saline. Haché. 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 Ogu badagri pal bale la ria so jeme badagri pal bale la ria so jeme ah quel plaisir une ivoirienne qui chante ogu badagri pal bale la ria elle est le litan faut papa ogu vin fe bale a isla faut rentrer dans nous chaque et pas et pas chita ton ni non c'est chaque moun Réveillez Badagri ou en dedans. Prends balé ou. Pour nous balé la ria. Ogou Badagri, pas balé la ria. So jemme. Nous quoi c'est Gabon, nous voulons l'an de I I think we're going to listen to Gabon. is going to express themselves now. Let's listen. Hotep la famille, moi c'est Abessoulo, Kamit sans frontières. De la commune de, du peuple étant. Je viens aujourd'hui euh, faire honneur à notre général Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Je viens également faire honneur à notre empereur Jacques Ier. À Santé Sana pour tout ce que vous avez fait pour nous. Nous espérons que votre esprit va continuer à nous habiter. Et je me rappelle de cette phrase en disant Nous avons osé être libres. Osons l'être par nous-mêmes et pour nous-mêmes. À santé sana, à santé sana. Aïe Bobo, Akiba, Nala. Honneur et respect à toi. Respect à toi, Papa Dessaline. Que ton cas soit vivifié. Reçois cette lumière en ce jour de ta naissance. Merci pour ta vie. Merci pour l'héritage de liberté, d'autodétermination et de foi inébranlable en notre peuple. Que ton feu brûle en chacun de nous, enfants de mère Afrique enfants de Kama dispersés dans le monde, pour que nous puissions rétablir l'ordre et la justice dans nos pays. Célébrons notre ancêtre, Papa Dessaline. Haché, haché, haché. Je suis Ablé de Côte d'Ivoire. Eh oui, n'a pas besoin de paquet de figues qui a dit mais des salines, mais des salines. C'est normal. Chaque artiste sentit en dans les senti longs gens. Donc, il fait. Par exemple, moi même, toute information qui des salines, pas jamais de moustache. Mais moi, trois cas artistes, toujours pas moustache. Eh bien, moustache dans la période, ça, tu veux dire pouvoir. Vous comprenez pour qui ça, il toujours fait ça. Mais nous ne prenons pas représentation pour nous dire oui, mais qui j'en, mais qui salte. Non. Bien que nous t'adouer gagner, forme dit nous. Des salines te fait faire, elle t'a habité Saint-Marc. When Dessaline lived in Saint-Marc, he had a painting, a, 
um, full size portrait of himself painted on a wall in his living room. And around him, all around him is our people. The people were all over. And then there was Dessaline in the center. The size he was, the dimension, without changing, he wanted it to be exactly as he is. On the opposite wall, in that same living room, he had from Alexander the Greek to Napoleon. And he says the reason he had all these dominators, colonizers, and slavers on the other wall lined up this way. So when he punches <coughs> Napoleon, he will start by punching Alexander. And then that punch will be a domino effect. The punch will crush Napoleon. So that's the mindset of this man. He did not just see, he was not just looking at Napoleon. He sang Kofa. He turned back and looked at the root of that behavior that Napoleon was showing, that colonizing behavior. So, and he decided that he had to go back there and punch that one first in order to crush Napoleon. When we are fighting against somebody, si na boume contre moun, nou pa apprendre a étudier sans kofa, kon racine ni, kon kote comportement sorti, et puis pou n'attaquer depuis nan racine nan. Si même j'a kon maladie, son malade ou pa kon cause maladie. Ou pa jam ka pretel. So, same thing is true in life. If you want to cure a disease, you must go back to the root of it. A historical disease, a social disease, a biological disease, all have to be treated by first Sankofa. Turn back, get to the root, study the root, know the root, then you'll know the medicine. Oh, oh good. Good morning, Hotep. This is Professor James Small, and I'm joining the Felicite Foundation in the African world in wishing our great emperor and liberator, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, a happy, happy 265th birthday, Earth Day. Thank you, Emperor, for being among us and for coming to us, and we pray that the ancestors allow you to continue to guide us in our struggle for freedom. We, in your words, say, liberty or death, freedom or death. Thank you, beloved emperor. We love you still. Hey, this was Baba James Small. Well, anyone who used to look at, who usually look at uh, uh, Baina and Friends know that he is often my guest on Baina and Friends and that he and I have a very good relationship. We share a lot of the um, philosophy and aspiration of our people. And we both believe in the planetary family. That means when there's a problem in Mali, it's my problem. When there's a problem in Congo, it's my problem. I am not limited to just looking for what's wrong or what needs correction in IT. I look at our people throughout the, life, the world, on our planet, Earth, everywhere. And that's the pleasure that we have is that whatever we can do to help everywhere we go, that's our duty and we're glad to do it. So let's continue our celebration. Let's continue to collect energy. Let's continue to pick up on that Dessalinian energy, the energy that has courage, the energy that brings discipline, the energy that brings vision, the energy that brings determination. L'eau a ramassé énergie de Salinan, ou a ramassé vision, courage, discipline, détermination, ou pas peur, 
personne personne va voir paix l'orgue pour régler mission pour faire plan sous tomber aujourd'hui ou lever pita ou recommencer demain c'est comme ça nous voulons je nous river sous la victoire parce que mission nous c'est river sous victoire qui te victoire pour tout monde qui te la victoire c'est ça c'est nous pas gain trois nous pas gain 10 missions et nous connaît tout identité nous fait ak liberté santé justice prospérité pouvoir sous ces haïtiens on travaille sur quatre éléments ça 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 c'est son respirer c'est son boire c'est son manger ou pas paix personne on voit qui ça y a gagné pour nous encore. Au tête à toi, Jambo à toi, papa des salines. Euh, je t'envoie ce message aujourd'hui pour te dire merci. Merci pour tout ce que tu as fait pour nous, pour tout ce que tu as fait à Haïti, mais pour tout ce que tu as fait pour tout le peuple noir, pour tout le peuple africain, par-dessus les mers par-dessus les terres, sur l'ensemble de la planète. Merci pour la sueur que tu as versée. Merci pour le sang que tu as versé. Merci pour tout ce que tu as donné pour qu'à nouveau, les Africains, qu'ils soient sur le continent ou qu'ils soient à Haïti, dans la Caraïbe ou aux Amériques, soient debout. Nous n'oublierons jamais et nous allons continuer le travail que tu as commencé. Donne-nous l'inspiration. Donne-nous la force, donne-nous la détermination de continuer ton travail pour qu'à nouveau, les Africains puissent compter dans ce monde. Pour qu'à nouveau, les Africains puissent être unis dans ce monde. Nous allons travailler pour que l'Afrique, Haïti, soit réunie et que nous puissions enfin redevenir le peuple numéro un dans le monde. Nous allons travailler pour que il y a une académie Jean-Jacques Dessalines en Afrique, une académie militaire Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Nous allons travailler pour qu'il y ait un sous-marin Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Nous allons travailler pour qu'il y ait des missiles Jean-Jacques Dessalines qui vont protéger tes enfants pour des générations et des générations. Encore une fois, merci Papa Dessalines et la lutte continue. À santé. C'était Abiola du territoire qu'on appelle temporairement Côte d'Ivoire. Merci, merci. Oh, I was reading all these wonderful things that some of you are saying to us. Thank you so much. Merci en pile. Tout le monde qui a participé, tout le monde qui a mis des commentaires, all those who are commenting, thank you so much. Merci en pile, en pile, en pile. Parce que c'est comme ça nous collons l'énergie. Nous voyons parole pour vous, nous voyons parole pour moi. Des paroles, nous contrées. Ils construit une force. Et les pile force met ensemble, nous font pouvoir. On nous fait ça. On nous prend tête nous au sérieux. Let's take ourselves seriously. And deal seriously with things. Speak words that matter. Stay away from a lot of the nonsensical talk. Let's build energy. Let's build force. Let's build power so we can do, for example, what uh, Abiola told us a, a little while ago. Create, how many of us are thinking in those terms? We need to create a uh, uh, submarine, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Yes, we must. Every form of defense that is necessary, we must not play with that. The enemy is not playing. The enemy's got everything. He's got enough nuclear bomb to blow up the earth 
more than a hundred times. What have you got? At least you should have your word. Because with your word, you could do a lot of things if you took yourself seriously. Même si vous pas gagné un bon nucléaire, mais si un mot, parole qui saute dans la bouche, bien réfléchi, bien contrôlé, bien aligné avec pensée, et puis vous mettez action qui marche avec ça. Rien, pensée, parole, action, ou à plus de façon bon nucléaire. Prends tête au sérieux. Au goût pas d'agri, pral balé la ria so jemme. Oh, merci, Merioku, to, to bring this song to us. All the way from uh, Ivory Coast. Merci, en pile. Thank you very much. Au goût pas d'agri, pral balé la ria so jemme. Pas d'agri, pral balé la ria so jemme. On allait, on allait, on allait. I am Cecilia Lisa Eliseche, mother of Toya, celebrating the bravery and courage of General Jean-Jacques Dessalines from Haiti. Looking joyfully forward to tapping into him to increase my discipline and vision. Have a merry, blessed, earth strong 265th year starting September 20th this year. Salve Papa de Sali. Otep, Otep, Otep. Uh, ce petit message pour honorer la mémoire de notre héros, le libérateur Jean-Jacques Dessalines qu'il reste une source d'inspiration pour nous tous et qu'il nous aide à faire émerger d'autres nouveaux petits dessalines avec toute sa puissance. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude pour son œuvre et bonne commémoration à tous. Makeda Vicero du Togo Diangola Diangola famille, bonne fête, bonne célébration à tous les frères et sœurs d'Haïti, honneur et gloire au général Jean-Jacques Dessalines et que son esprit, son énergie soit plus que jamais avec nous sur la terre, mais en ces temps de lutte, ces temps de révolution, et que son énergie accompagne tous les soldats, tous les frères et sœurs et que Vraiment, nous soyons fortifiés par son énergie. Encore bonne fête, bonne célébration à tous et à toutes et à bientôt. C'est la sœur Ayaba depuis la Côte d'Ivoire. Hey, thank you. Merci, merci Ayaba. Et merci Cecilia qui depuis... Alors, moi, mais j'en dis toujours dit, les frontières coloniales dénommées Argentine. C'est comme ça, toujours fait référence à pays. Frontières coloniales dénommées Argentine. Et Cecilia, c'est un. un uh, comment il est? Il un mélange de. Oublié, des Mapucha, des peuples du peuple Mapucha. Et qui sont chorégraphes, qui font plusieurs uh, chorégraphies sous Jean-Jacques Dessalines dans différents pays. Et ce sont des gens qui sont passionnés d'histoire d'Haïti. Et nous apprécions la contribution ni dans ce qu'on fait aujourd'hui. En fait, nous apprécions la contribution de tout le monde. À Alexandra, Jean-Joseph, qui font une présentation extraordinaire. Mérie ah, tout le monde qui participer et puis tout l'autre monde que nous pas pour yo toute volonté à cap monter descendre non la ridol dans Port-au-Prince les Émile les Gé les Jessica merci 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 en pile 
à tout l'autre. Jeunes gens, Kaboumé, nous disons merci. Tout le monde qui a préparé, tout le monde qui a déplacé, vini célébrer dans la Cour Fondation, nous dit merci. Et donc, Mary Oku, tu rappelé nous, gratitude, son bagage qui est important, il faut ne pas chambler et remercier chaque monde pour chaque ça qu'il fait. Pour tout ça, même ça, il y a une intention fait. Okay? It's very, very important. Gratitude is extremely important. We must constantly take the time. Uh, the reason I can appear as, you know, I'm doing so great and I know all about technology, that's not true. It's because of Claudia and Kwesi. They're handling everything. They're making me look good. They are uh, carrying on, spending nights up, handling all kinds of things. And when there is something to buy, they quickly go ahead and do it. Oh, speaking of buying, we must also say, I must say it publicly, uh, the volunteers at Fondation Felicité who really don't have, have very little means. I was done when they were asking for, they wanted to paint an area of the Fondation because it wasn't in good shape. And uh, the next thing I hear, they put money together bought the paint and did the painting themselves. So thank you, because I say, no, Desanine can't be coming here and find a place like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. All the volunteers at Fondation Felicité. Merci, merci en pile. Ogubadagri pal bale la ria so jeme badagri pal bale la ria so jeme. The 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 words say, Ogubadagri is going to be sweeping the streets. So jeme, I swear it, it will happen. Badagri is going to be sweeping the streets. There's too much dirt around. So. Yes, that's a perfect song to bring it now. Oh, good, bad, so jamais. Merci, Mary Oku, to remind us. Mary was in Haiti uh, more than, what, three, four years ago? And that's when she learned that song. And now she's bringing it back to us. Wonderful. Thank you. Merci, en pile, Mary. Otep, Jambo, Mbolo. Ce petit message, c'est pour la commémoration de notre ancêtre, l'empereur Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Papa Dessalines, tu nous as montré la voie de la justice, car sans justice, il n'y a point de liberté. Papa Dessalines, que ton énergie habite en chacun de nous, filles et fils de Kama, d'Haïti, de Guadeloupe. Martinique et de tout territoire où l'on trouve l'un des nôtres. Aucune liberté ne se demande si elle est confisquée. Il faut l'arracher. À santé, Sana, à Kiba, pour ton combat, pour la voie que tu as tracée, dessinée pour les suivants. Gloire et honneur à toi éternellement. Bonne célébration à tous. Je suis Ningon Neferet du peuple et camp du Gabon. Peace family. My name is Jeremiah Ousu Koromor. I'm here gathered with you today in full support of Fondation Felicité. And we are here on this special day to commemorate the birth and indelible achievements of Jean-Jacques Dessalines, the first founding father of IET, the first free established African empire in the Western Hemisphere. The pillar, the freedom, the strength, wisdom, and dignity. Although born into slavery, Dessalines emerged not just as a revolutionary, but as a beacon of liberty, vision, resistance for all oppressed people near and abroad. 
His military prowess during the revolution of IT was nothing short of extraordinary. But what really set him apart was his unyielding commitment to the abolition of slavery and the expulsion of white supremacy on the island of Sandome, leading to the rise of the empire of IIT. It was Dessalines who declared IIT's independence in 1804, shattering the chains of colonialism and setting the precedent for liberation in all the movements of the world. Jean-Jacques Dessalines has taught us that freedom is not a gift bestowed by the oppressor, but a right to be fought for by the oppressed. His legacy reminds us that the struggle for justice, equality, and human dignity is one that continues today. As we honor his memory today, let us commit ourselves to continue the fight, to uphold the values he stood for, and to ensure that the same spirit that he bestowed lives on through us for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Merci en pile. Merci tout à Neferet qui fait nous songer. Enfin, tous les deux mouns à eux, en fait. Vous t'as dit c'est une des bons côtés l'autre, mais des pays différents bien loin. Et Neferet du Gabon et notre frère qui habite aux États-Unis, qui tous les deux dit nous, qui fait nous faire songer. Liberté. Yo pa bay sa en cadeau. Oppressé pa chan fò cadeau liberté. Sou el dou se sa la fè, sou el écrit la bo cadeau, konnen gwe piège la donne, li pa liberté vrai. Both of them reminded us that freedom is never given away by oppressors. And I add if you were to find an oppressor who says, I'm going to give you independence, I'm going to give you freedom, know that within the agreement, there is all kinds of tricks and chains to tie you up, which is the case of 14 West African countries, so-called independent, but all their money is in France. Their justice, their this and their that is handled by France till now. So, Learning, let's learn the lesson. Liberté, c'est prend ou prend ça. C'est rach ou rachel, l'el confisqué. Ou pas négocier liberté. Ou n'y a, l'offin fait une série de mouvements, ou gagne espace, ou ka, font y parler, ou ka, fait y négociation. Mais liberté, c'est prend pour prendre. Personne pas ba ou. Donc, that was a good reminder. We cannot wait. We cannot always be begging. No. In every situation, we must be absolutely determined about what we want to do. And we must know that we must. Look, even a child. Même un maman qui enceinte, les petits mouns n'ont pas pour le fait. Si mon n'a pas dit, mami chérie, font y coucher, bon me faire pas bon bon t'y passer. Non. Bébé a dit, jodi a m'a sorti. Maman tombe relamre. Parce que tout bataille, si mon n'a bataille pour le prendre liberté. Bye maman doule. That's the fact. Even a newborn child. When it's time for the child to be birthed, the child does not say, mommy, please, let me come, allow me. No, the child starts to fight to find its way to the sun. It's freedom. If the child takes it, the child does not beg for it. The child does not negotiate for it. Take the lesson. 
Let's go on and see what else they've got for us. Oguba dagri pal bale la ria so jeme. Badagri pal bale la ria so jeme. Haïti, je suis content de célébrer la Fondation Félicité et naissance de Papa Nanchon. Jean-Jacques Dessali, je suis célébré bravo avec discipline. Pendant ma moi-même, je célébré là, je renforcé la capacité, la détermination avec le courage. Je souhaite que Jacques, je souhaite passer en 265e force la terre dans la joie. Pendant que même avec nous avons nous aidé à reprendre la force. Nous pays à capable de vivre dans la prospérité nous t'ai toujours voulu bonne fête papa des salines n'a célébré 265 années foster papa des salines My name is Oluwa Tobi Adelisi from Nigeria. I'm a Yoruba man, who's possibly from Daomi Kingdom, just like our ancestors, Jean-Jacques de Salin, who we are celebrating today. And this video is to celebrate the 265th Earth Strong of Jean-Jacques de Salin, our great ancestor, our great warrior, our great liberator, and the man and the ancestor, you know, responsible for the liberation of the people of, of the African people of IET and we want to celebrate the bravery, the courage, the discipline and everything Jean-Jacques Dessalines possesses, you know, and we all have Jean-Jacques Dessalines within ourselves. So we need to tap into our Jean-Jacques Dessalines power spiritually, physically, and mentally so that we can become liberators, so that we can fight against the oppression against us, against African people globally and empower ourselves. And we have to do this strategically just as Jean-Jacques Dessalines did. So this is a happy, happy birthday, happy Earth Strong, Happy 265th Earth Strong to Jean-Jacques de Salin, our ancestor. Peace and love. Thank you, thank you. From UK, our brothers, our brother sent his comment, and we appreciate the, the contribution. Okay, uh, we have to also mention, uh, actually, de Salin's birthday is an opportunity for Fondation Félicité to also raise funds. And as you know, situation is particularly difficult and the Fondation is still surviving thanks to the volunteers who don't give up, who continue to fight, who, if they have to dash out, run away from bullets from this, that, or the other at a, any particular moment, they do just that. But then they come back and they return and they work and they advance the work of Fondation Felicite. Again, we say thank you. And again, we ask you to help us to continue to do this work. Uh, Fondation Felicite, uh, it has five areas of uh, uh, intervention in IT. The first one is with people that are 100 years and more. And they have no, there is no such thing as they have a pension or they get something to help them, whatever, there is none. So the Fondation, when we identify them, uh, very often they are very lucid, they have all their minds. We learn a lot from them they could tell us what happened. And Fondation uh, uh, does try to help whenever she can, whenever there are means to do so. Of course, we do research, research on our street, research on techniques of teaching and training that are appropriate for our people. Uh, we investigate proper content because teaching our children uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's garbage. It does nothing for our children. Um, so proper content for our children. Because what you learn in school is supposed to make you be more of who you are. Or if it's conditioning, 
it will reduce the who you are. So we work on research, we develop uh, techniques of uh, methods of teaching. Um, we do encourage young people to go into entrepreneurship. So they are not, everybody is coming out of school and going to look for a job with the government. They have to have a certain mindset in order for them to be able to create a, an enterprise and make it work. So these are some of the things that the Fondation does. Of course, we, uh, Fondations publish books. We, we produce, for example, um, Baina and Friends is a production of Fondation Felicité. So uh, we do a number of, we do work. We do um, strive to find what we need without going to enemies for what it is, for what is necessary. And we have to think again of the ant, tiny little ant. And yet the, the ant is able to pick up a mouse or a rat if it has to, because the ant knows how to put what they have together and build forces, create power. You see, uh, many times, um, I don't know, this week, somebody was saying, oh, you have 25,000 people on Instagram. I said, well, yes, but if we were to ask these 25,000 people to each donate $10, $5, would they? Or is it just a matter of clicking? But it's not about, I heard what she said, what she says uh, re resonate in me and I want to participate in the work that is being done. That's a totally different attitude. So that's the number that we are interested in. We want to meet the people who want to help us do the work we have to do, want to help us accomplish our mission. I'm counting on you. Take great care. Okupa dagri pal bali lari ya so jame badagri pal bali lari so jame. Des cent soixante cinq l'année déjà. Jean B au fait au plus présent. Sel non tout manté tranquillité malveillant. Agamant tout coulé. Complice bataille des pamans qui te pensé des chiquetés corps. Lapidé ou et une lumière te camette rêve bien et tout déjà. Et ce qu'on brille pété dans quand l'ennemi, tout tracas sous dos, toute stratégie échouée contre tes vieux, vodou vodou vie, terre à capiti, car il a capiti, mais tel opéré à solide. This gives you a little bit of what's happening in the yard right now it's in Fondation Felicité's yard. So as you see, the children are dancing to a music called Défilé, and it's a carnival song that was uh, that came out in 2008 for Dessaline's 250th birthday. So that means, what, 16 years ago? And uh, that song stayed number one for something like 10 years. So, you know, when we put Dessaline, you see, Dessaline inspires, inspires singers, it inspires artists, poets, writers, painters, everybody is inspired by him all over the world. And as we gather information, we gather 
uh, productions, artistic productions, you know, like this, uh, this painting or drawing, I don't know exactly, I think it's a uh, electronically con concocted uh, thing, but that's, uh, you know, more and more of our young people will be producing their perception of Dessaline. And yes, some will be doing a Dessaline that's 12 years old and five years old and 48. We can't go beyond that because that's when he stopped in the body and went back to eternity. And it's that energy, that eternal energy that cannot be erased. No murderer, no nobody can eliminate that. And that's why we can be in touch with that energy, energy of vision, discipline, power, justice. You imagine striking in 1803 what was considered the most ferocious army in the world. We have to understand that. And he had as a practice, if the army is coming to him with 10,000 troops, he has 10,000, he put 4,000 to rest. He says, no, we're going to whip him with 6,000. We're going to whip him with 7,000. He always take fewer guys. He said, when they are sh fewer, they fight better. They're more determined to get to victory. That's the way we have to think. Whenever we are in any kind of situation, we have to look at how do we win with all the disadvantages. Yes, Dessaline is in you. Recognize him, don't be afraid of him. And then when you see that you behave in a way that's not just, correct it. He's very good as, at apologizing. He's very good at, at complimenting. After the Battle of Vertier, Dessaline said, Ils étaient tous des dieux. They were all gods. Wow, you should see what this one did, and this one, and Capua, and that one. Each one was, they were just gods on there. So he's not afraid to call them God. Why should I be afraid to call you God, goddess? But I agree with Balilaria on Ali. Well, yes, Dessaline lives in you. Dessaline is with you. And that we're going to see in the Q&A who is assuming their Dessaline energy. Who has built it and who is assuming it? with the questions that you will be asking. We will be, we'll come to know. So remember, our theme today is, yes, we're celebrating the life, the accomplishments of an ancestor, but with the purpose of 
connecting and collecting all the talents and power that this ancestor built during his lifetime and holds today in the energy world. So, question, is it true that the Asian revolutionary used tunnels as tactics to surprise the enemy during the revolution? Well, every single means was necessary. Whatever we have, we have, I don't know what, if you mean tunnels, built tunnels. I don't believe we had any built tunnels, but we did have caves and we had some of them had great knowledge of how you can get into a cave in this town and come out of that cave in this other town. So we did have that. We have a great knowledge of the territory, the mountains, the rivers, the lakes, the forest. All of that was used as weapon during the revolution. Nothing was left aside, everything. Disguise, you take a woman like Marie-Jeanne, her specialty was that she would disguise anyone. Herself, she could show up as a 18 year old white woman in front of you at 10. And then at 12, you meet her again and she's some dark skinned black man, almost toothless. So we used everything. We didn't have the weaponry that the enemy had, but we had a brilliant mind, a free mind that didn't have any problem imagining other things, other ways. We would use um, calabash trees, cut them a certain way, put gunpowder in the calabash tree and then seal it, put it back on the tree. So when the next people come with horses bloop, 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 walking under that tree, then the calabash would become our bombs. So we was, it's your imagination. You still have that power. You can figure things out. You can outsmart your enemies. But you have to first believe in yourself. You have to take yourself seriously. Si imagination ou serva qui imagination correctement, ou gen zam pou goumen nan tout situation. Yon nan bagay zan set nou yote fè, se pran kalbas, dekoupe l, mette um, pou de kanon la dan, et pi le la me ki vin apre ya, ap pasan ba pie bwa sa, vibrasyon yo ba e la, ap fe tout kalbas eklate. Donc, on moun gen wati, ah oui, ça c'était, c'est vodou, li fe maji. Bon, peut-être te gen maji la donne tout, m'pa konne. Mais gen pile bagay pratik, nou ka fe, nou kon fe, si nou pense en liberté, si nou pa limite nou, se sa yo di nou ki ka fe, se sel sa nou we ki ka fe. L'autre question, How did the Asian military obtain uniforms and weapons? Well, the first store was the battlefield. You go to battle. In fact, they used to call us l'armée des sans culottes. That means the army with no pants. So whatever way we were on the field, on the plantation, under the Euro-Christian slavery system, we would go out that way. So sometimes it's just a piece of cloth covering our private parts. But after the battle, we all could get dressed. We go on the dead that are on the ground. We pick the boots that will fit our fit us, that will be good for us. We take the jacket, the pants, whatever, and we would dress up. So that's the first way that we got uniforms. The first store was on the battlefield. 
Next question. No more questions? So we could close down and go away? Shut down early? Is it true that the Asian revolutionary used tunnels as tactics to surprise? Well, we just, we talked, you know, this question was asked before and we said, I'm unaware that we had built any tunnels, but we do have caves and we sometimes use the caves to move from one point to the other. Would you say that based on this remarkable defeat in 1804, that all the IT is sacred land? Well, that will, you know, each person would have to appreciate that for themselves. As far as I'm concerned, it's not the revolution that made IT a sacred land. When you study IET's history for the past two to 3,000 years, and you know that at some point, no one could step on that island except if you had a, a, a spiritual gift and a spiritual wish. So people could not just come for coming. If you're coming, you have a spiritual purpose. So IT is a sacred land for me, but not from the revolution. It's been that way a long time. Any literary work on the herbs that were used to unalive the op oppressor? Oh, I do not know. I have no clue of military, of work, literary work. Uh, we know that uh, a revolutionary like Macandal, he used plants a great deal for everything that he used to do. Um, but I am, I don't know that someone has been able to put much of this work on, on paper. But I will add also, see, we have a very Euro-Christianized perception of the relationship of humans and plants, humans and water, humans and earth, humans and uh, sun and all the planets and whatnot. You see, in the African perception, we are one family. Uh, see, we have a song in IT. Lion sole leve o bonje voe la le. Lion sole leve o bonje voe la le. Timun li o crie o bonje voe la le. So this song is telling us we perceive the sun as queen mother. And we are the children of the sun. So the sun is not a thing. That's why when I'm writing, for example, I will never say sun and write it with a small s. When I say sun, I wouldn't write my mother's name with a small s. I put a capital S. I put a capital A for ancestors. I, I pose, if I'm going to write in Haitian, I don't put my ancestors with a TZ, but put a big Z for the ancestors. Put a big S for the sun. So the other life forms, we conceive them as our family members. We are part of one family. That's why we could not conceive of racism, of declaring another people no good. That couldn't happen in our way of looking. We don't even think that about animals. We think lions and tigers and mosquitoes, they all have their work to do to maintain our planet. 
we all are functioning to maintain the cosmos. So we wouldn't have a situation where we think, oh my goodness, no, 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 ça va bon, ça c'est job, ça c'est, no, no, no. So being that our perception of the various life forms is thwarted, twisted, derailed. So we have a very strange way that we deal with plants. Uh, plants, for example, we wouldn't dream of pulling a plant out and throwing it away, much less go into a forest and destroy the whole forest. Never. Because we know everything that exists has a function in keeping the cosmos alive. So we wouldn't dare just tear things up, any kind of life form. And plants, even more so, because plants, in some in the Congo, for example, plants are referred to as the pipes that takes from the earth what we need and bring it out the earth. So when you take a basil leaf or any leaf, you make some tea, it is a medicine that the earth itself has produced for you. So if we see a plant and we don't know exactly what it does, we will dare of tearing it up and destroying it. So our relationship is very, very different. Sachant que les personnes d'ascendance africaine captives sur le territoire français appelé Saint-Domingue, une colonie, se sont battues le 18 novembre 1803, ont pris leur indépendance, euh, l'ont déclaré et ont rédigé une constitution le 20 mai 1805 affirmant leur souveraineté et leur nationalité. Est-ce que l'assassinat de l'empereur Jean-Jacques Dessalines le 17 octobre 1806 affecte la validité des documents officiels établis sur son règne, le fait que d'autres pays n'aient pas reconnu cette indépendance, a-t-il un impact sur sa légitimité, euh, sur la légitimité de ces documents? Mon opinion? Absolument pas. Okay. Premièrement, est-ce qu'on est clair? Oh. Oui, est-on clair sur le fait que l'esclavage en dépit du fait que l'euro-chrétien, dans son livre saint, dit que c'est une bonne chose, dit que Dieu dit qu'il faut être esclave et il faut respecter son maître, moi je dis que non. Je dis que toute forme de vie a droit à la liberté, la santé, la prospérité et le pouvoir. Donc, Lorsque, euh, donc, un système illégal sur notre planète. Donc, le travail que les révolutionnaires haïtiens, ils ne sont pas les seuls, beaucoup ont essayé. Haïti, la grande différence, c'est que Haïti a été plus loin, pas seulement à écraser l'ennemi, mais à déclarer son pays. Et attention, la Constitution ne dit pas on, on prend l'indépendance de la France. Non, chérie, nous avons dit que nous déclarons être libres, souverains et indépendants de toute force de l'univers. Donc, les petits coyoyo là, France, Espagne, machin chouette, qu'ils acceptent, acceptent pas, ça c'est leur problème. Le drame, c'est que après la mort de l'empereur, après la mort du roi qui avait la même philosophie, les entités bizarres qui sont devenues dirigeants ne savaient pas ce que c'était que liberté, santé, prospérité, pouvoir. Ils pensaient que si moi je suis libre, moi je suis prospère, moi je peux faire du tort aux autres, c'est ça le pouvoir. Non. Liberté, santé, prospérité, pouvoir, le pouvoir est toujours collectif. Même euh, quelqu'un qui prend de la drogue, qui drive, qui n'a pas de maison, qui dort au bord de la route aux États-Unis, 
Il arrive n'importe où, il donne un papier qui dit il est États-Unis. Il aura un respect parce qu'il va profiter du pouvoir, perception de pouvoir collectif des États-Unis. C'est pourquoi ces gens-là travaillent toujours pour défaire le pouvoir collectif dans nos pays, mettre des pantins à la tête de nos pays et ainsi ils peuvent faire ce qu'ils veulent parce que le pouvoir collectif est endommagé, abîmé. La même chose, il faut avec la prospérité. Pourquoi les Clinton, ils étaient déjà riches? Pourquoi ils ont volé tout l'argent qui était mis disponible pour Haïti après le tremblement de terre? Ce n'est pas parce qu'ils en avaient besoin. C'était pour empêcher que le peuple haïtien puisse bénéficier d'une quelconque prospérité. Non, nous devons regarder les choses en profondeur. Question. What Jean-Jacques Dessalines' position toward Christianity and why did he allow priests and other forms of religious practices to remain in Haiti despite the potential risk that foreign religions could impose the new mental cultural slavery on the Haitian and black population? Well, the first thing I would say is that he said, okay, people can practice religion that they want, but the state will not give you one dime. Okay. Knowing that religion is a business, if they don't get any money, they're not going to make much effort and they're not going to thrive in that spot. So that's why even though, and at the same time, uh, in respecting the principle of liberty, he enabled them to go ahead and do what they want to do. But he also knew that they had very little chance of succeeding and they did not show much success during both the, the empire and the kingdom. In fact, religion didn't start really taking big in IT until governments start financing it. Every priest has a check from the Ministry of Education, every this has that, they get land, they get all kind of, you know. And then again, we must also take into consideration when I come from, you see, actually, the minute we agreed to sign a, uh, an, a, to, 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 to come into an agreement, here we are, 1804, we are independent, we declare it to the universe, done. We have Dessaline, who worked mostly on the, 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 the empire of Haiti, mostly worked on freedom. The kingdom of Haiti, the concentration was prosperity and health. That government built several hundred schools and hospitals, and people were working good salaries, etc. So they worked on prosperity. Now, after the death of King Henry, we come into these weird folks, the Pétions and the Boyers, who are begging on a personal level, begging the white men to recognize the white men who was their father, who never recognized them, to recognize them, on the one hand. On the second hand, begging France to recognize IT, ready to pay for it. So a total, total mental, the, the two mental structures are totally different. The kingdom and the, the empire, and then the republic. Once you are begging, <laughs> you are free. You have your independence. You've been having it. You've had it um, 1904, 1960. Uh, so 56 years later you're going to sign an agreement with the Vatican. Of course, the Vatican is going to put his stuff in it. Article 12 says your, your, uh, the, the church has monopoly over public instruction. What does that mean? 
So that means the government, the church has monopoly, the government cannot decide what Haitian children will learn. So the de haitianization of Haitians began in 1956. Okay? So, when we have signed the article 12, which says that the church has a monopoly of instruction public, so the state has said that the church has taken the church, it's the church that has decided. And from there, we have defeated toute haïtianité en dans l'école ça li défait li font haïtien pas haïtien encore haïtien 1803 yo pral prend toute année ça yo pou y a défait li question my question reflection concerns the role of language of creole in the work of Dessaline, in our work against down oppressors in the survival of haiti and africans as a nation word Sound po. po or power is of great significance to me and as a and the rest of Harry. What all are, are your perspective on the role of language in the fight? How important was it to Desalini? Okay, I'll start with the second question. So important to Desaline, he always spoke Aishan in every official situation. He had a translator, even though. He spoke fluently English, Spanish, Yoruba, and several other languages. But he never would speak French to the French translator. So obviously he's showing us the importance. Uh, as a whole, I would say, of course, the language is a sort of, is the boat, the bag that carries the culture that transport that transport your culture from one generation to the next so if you do not have any control over your language or if you are forced to learn somebody else's an oppressor's tongue then you lose a great deal and i believe that three elements concorded to the success of IT's revolution. We had already created our own cosmic view, voodoo. We had our own perception of the cosmos. Two, we already had trap practices that were our own. And three, we had our own tongue. Those three elements were three weapons that helped to bring us to victory. Have we lost our natural ties and energy with the universe? Nothing is ever lost. Everything is always there. You eat a mango, you take the mango seed, you take a mango seed and you uh, after eating the mango, you toss the mango seed in the yard. The rain comes, the sun comes, the different activities in the yard buries that mango seed, and before long, you have another mango tree. Nothing is ever lost. But things, even we take life, uh, the vitality I had at 30, I don't have it today at 76. But I'm discovering more and more, I can build my vitality too, by being more careful what I put in my mouth, what I think, what I say, and what I do with my body. So I have begun to cultivate my vit vitality more and more. I don't care to live a long time, but I want to live healthy. And even though I'm a goat by nature, that's what we call people who don't drink much water, I am cultivating myself to drink more. So nothing is ever lost, especially in matter of energy. It could thin out or grow, but it's always present.
Cultivate what you think is lost and you will be surprised. Question, how can decolonize our minds and get back in touch with our ancestry and descendants of Haiti? Well, first step is artistry. That's the first string that you need to connect. No, I'm sorry. Let me start a little bit closer. Start in your family. Do you know your father and mother's name? Do you know your four grandparents' names? Do you know your eight great-grandparents' names? Start there. And study the, the history. Ask questions. Every time you have, you know, somebody says, oh, Dessaline, blah, 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 blah. Was he married? What was the name of his wife? Uh-huh. Did he have any children? Did he have any brother, sister? Okay. Don't take just what they give you. Question. Question everything. And you will see the artistry just blossom in front of you. Okay. Donc, pour décoloniser cervelle, nous, faut commencer à retirer fatra colon mettez la dedans. To decolonize, we must begin by eliminating the dirt, the garbage that colonization has placed in our mind. Because if your mind is full of the garbage of colonization, you have no place to accept the new information. So, gotta clean up first. Oh, badagri pal bale la ria, so jemme, badagri pal bale la ria, so jemme. Yeah. You must clean up. Too many things we take for granted because he said it. Anytime the Euro Christian press, the Euro Christian politics, the Euro Christian whatever, spit out something, we take it as the word of God. Stop. And the stuff that's already there that you've been learning since you were little. Uh, I remember my mother being very vexed because I went to a funeral of a, a member dressed in white. Everybody wasn't black. Why are you not wearing black? I said, I'm a black woman. Why would I wear black in a sad day? So that's the kind of thing we have to think. Why? Why? And then when I do the research about black using in funerals, I'm gonna find out that actually it's purple the funeral for Catholics, the funeral color. It's starting in the 16th century when they're doing slavery. That's when they switch it. They try to switch it. But look, black cars for important people, <coughs> excuse me, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, in galas, in this and that, black is actually the color of power, the color of wisdom, the color of knowledge. So use it as such. What do you say about the impact of Asian revolution worldwide, especially in South America, fraternal hugs from Brazil? Thank you. We received the fraternal hugs from Brazil and we send back fraternal hugs to our Brazilian families. Uh, well, the impact of the revolution as we see, it was, well, when Miranda, from Ecuador, ran into problem in 1805. He came to Haiti and the government of Dessaline, uh, he had several people wounded, took care of all the people wounded, and then gave him new boats, money, people, weapons, and tell him, go continue the liberation. How will I pay you back? Dessaline said, if you freeze people who are into, enchained, then I'm, I'm repaid. That's it. Now, two, three years later, Bolivar came back to Haiti when he had been run through all these nonsense with you Christian folks. And Haiti gave to Bolivar money, boats, people, weapons, fighters to go and continue the fight. And Bolivar was successful in liberating several African, um, South American countries. 
So the, that domino effect continued to other countries. That's how come the Asian Revolution affected the uh, country like, like Brazil. But it didn't stop there. When Greece was in trouble, IT provided tons of coffee to the government at one point to tell the government, no, they had famine. They were in a terrible famine. IT sent coffee to Greece. Well, the Greek government would sell and feed the people. When the Greek were fighting against their government, IT sent them help in the revolution the, to, to, in their fight. So IT is not just, okay, I'm going to make my freedom and I'm going to take care of my little business and I'm not going to look at it. No. We are concerned an Asian is somebody who's, who knows we are attached to the planetary family. And if somebody is in trouble, like right now, our people in the Congo needs help. Our people in Sudan needs help. We need to figure out the right vision and strategy how to come to their aid. So that's the natural Haitian way of doing things. C'est comme ça, ici, il y a, quel que soit côté le temps d'un tel qu'un problème, la déplacer, la voyer, ça a besoin. Même des salines, te disons, le temps de, te qu'on problème Martinique, il dit, oui, pour que ça me pague un bateau pour me dire aller l'autre bois, aller d'ailleurs dans la Martinique. C'est comme ça, nous y est. Liberté, c'est premier essence, on a ici. Soit tout pisi moun ou pa vle moun viv bien bon koto, se ko pa isien. How crucial was the role of the black pig and the lumbi and the, uh, in the Asian revolution? Uh, well, the black pig is the pig that was most popular, most populated. In, on the island, and uh, it's used for everything, and it's connected to Ezili Danto, that is supposed to be one of her favorite uh, meal. So, for a lot of reasons, so the black pig is very much appreciated, has been appreciated from day one till today. Now the lambi is uh, the conch, uh, is what we sound to assemble. When we hear the lumbi blowing, we know it's time to connect, to come together. Whereas the drum is the heartbeat. It keeps us going. Once we start walking, then the drum will keep us going. But the lumbi says, come, come, come. We have to come together now. That's what their, their basic uh, use is. Do we have any more questions? Now that's very good today. I really feel that people are truly celebrating because celebrate means gathering information, collecting information and Seeing that information, not as something to go blah, 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 someplace else to repeat, but putting it inside, in our heart, in our soul, and looking at how do I fit this into my life? When you do something, ask yourself, in this situation between me and Dr. Ya, I have to question, Baina, did you judge? Did you handle Dr. Yao with justice? Did you not block her right to freedom? And she must do the same thing. Did I keep Professor Baina Bello from, did I keep Mama Bello from this or that? Did I hinder her freedom or did I? You have to question. Because our true nature, freedom, health, 
Remember I say health? If I say health, it's the same as justice. If I say justice, it's equal to health. Whether I say health or justice and number two, same thing. Prosperity, power. You need the freedom to determine what will happen. And if you have true freedom, you produce the food your people need to eat. And then that produ production, all the production that goes with agriculture and culture brings you into prosperity. You handle your economy properly, then your, your population should be prosperous. Not a few people, not three billionaires, five trillionaires. It's about our people being comfortable, living comfortably, prosperity. And with that, we can build power. The song Mama Bello is singing and others where we can find them. Well, uh, I believe uh, one of the banners gives you a email address. Use the email address and we will gladly share and you send a request that I would like to have this or that. All right. Uh, you have um, websites, okay? And like we say, we're sharing words, but we also have to build prosperity. So don't say what you have is too small. We share what we got. When we put it together, we could do a lot of great things. You imagine that the past couple of years, uh, they have, foreigners have put a situation in IT, put a lot of guns into the hands of people who have nothing, uh, put drugs, et cetera, et cetera, and create what they call gangs. And then they give instructions for these people to invade entire neighborhoods. And so when a, wo a woman or a man, 100, 105, 110, who's been living somewhere 60 years, have to now run away from that home, they're not, e not even knowing where they're going to go. They were already struggling in a stable space, but now they have to run. Even people with homes, with very decent homes, sometimes are forced to run away from their home. But it's particularly harsh on people that are 100 and plus. So we really want, we, we really need to help the elderly that are in drastic situations. We're counting on you to send us the energy, the financial energy that is needed for us to be able to do what has to be done. And we say thank you in advance. Questions. Desalines original flag of the country was black and red. Does this eliminate the false tales of Catherine Flon sewing the, no, it's not eliminating. Catherine Flon was chosen to uh, come up with our first flag. She created a commission of nine people. They met and agreed on uh, black and red vertical. And she presented that vertical black and red on May 18 to the etat major, to the head of the army in Mirot, in a Congress in Mirot. So and they just twisted it a little bit, switched the black and red for blue and red to stay closer to France, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not that, you know. You know, a lie is always uh, an affected truth. There's always some kind of truth there. So you have to look very closely and ask a lot of questions to figure things out. Yes, he did rip the white from the French flag on February 2nd, 1802 on the battlefield. 
but he did not say this is the flag. He just said this. Uh, I, you know, he when he tore off the the white part. In fact, the red part came out with it. He tossed that away and said, "The way I'm tearing up this flag now, that's the way I'm going to tear off that colony." And then he called Clairvaux and asked him to set up a commission that will choose our, our colors. So, yeah, again, some truth is there. We have to figure it out. Where were, oops, <laughs> given the suffering we have endured under oppression, is it a betrayal toward our ancestors for black people to adopt the religion, custom and traditions of the oppressors? I think you can answer that question yourself. It's a beautifully asked question and uh, you know the answer. And each one of us know the answer. A black person remains faithful to their own heritage and identity. Of course. Can a ant become a rat? Can a mouse become a dog? Can a cat become a tiger? Given the suffering, oh, we've seen that. Were our ancestors Muslim and what is the connection with Vudu? There were very, very few Muslims captive, captive during that period. Um, one of reasons they give is that often the Muslim would kill himself so they would they didn't make the profit they wanted to. So very few Muslims came to IT. But a couple did. And uh, the only connection I know is Bookman Duty, who came from Jamaica as a young boy. He was sold away to punish his mom, sold to Saint Domingue. But he had a little Quran attached to his, he was hiding Quran in his clothing. And ultimately they found the Quran, burn it on him with him. So he had a whole side that was burnt. And later he became a voodoo, unga. he became a unga. So I tend to believe that some of the words, uh, Arabic words that we may find in certain things probably comes from that connection. Can you please elaborate on Toussaint Louverture? My dad claim he is not even Haitian. Well, none of us are Haitian, we could say at a certain point. Since we were, for the most part, kidnapped from the African continent, brought into the colony of Saint-Domingue, so Africans were brought here. IT was erased in a certain way, we could say, because when these people decide to uh, take away the name IT and replace it with a stupid Hispaniola, that means nothing to the land. So what were we? We are Africans brought to Hispaniola, so we are now Hispaniolian, right? And then later on, uh, they're going to make one side Saint-Domingue. We are not Dominguez. And then down the road, it's going to become uh, IT. It's not become. It's going to return to the original name, IT. So then we are Haitians. But up until, so in a certain way, people, when people say Toussaint is not Haitian, well, yes, because when he died, Haiti didn't exist, it did not return as the official name of the island. Okay, it had to wait for 1805, 1804 for Haiti for the name of the island to become officially Haiti again. So, even Dessalines was not Haitian in 1802 because there was the island was not called Haiti then. So, 
But if we look at things, we have to look in a more essential way. To save thought, hoping to eventually create a country. He had a different philosophy and different methodology than Dessaline. But I think they both had the same ultimate uh, purpose, goal. So I wouldn't say, now Toussaint also have the advantage from what I understand my research has shown that Toussaint was born in Alada in Benin. But then like all Africans born on the continent. So does that make him not be Aitian? I don't think it's about not being. I am full-fledged Aitian and full-fledged African. I don't deny any of it. And I know the base of my Aitian-ness is rooted in African culture. So it all depends on how you want to look at things. <clears throat> Greetings, Impress. I have heard that Kathleen Flon, daughter of the Emperor Dessalines. No, I'm, I don't have that information. Now, here's my position on things like this. Our history has been tempered with, hidden, deformed, et cetera, et cetera, by the oppressor. Today, many of us are searching and trying to reconstruct. So I would never say to a question like that, oh no, that's not possible, that's in a, no, I don't know. My research has not shown me that. I don't know on what basis the person who says this says it. So I would not deny, but I will say that my research has not brought me there. And it's a, you know, studying 200 years of artistry uh, when you're only 76, I'm only a little girl, <laughs> and I only have what, 40 years of research? That's nothing. If, you, if you're talking about what the Euro Christians are doing, for example, the Catholic Church, that's 2,000 years of existence. And they have been creating history for the world for that long. So if today I uncover one little thing, I am not going to take it for the it. I will say this is what my research has brought me to. <coughs> and I will continue to search for greater, deeper, more essential truth. <clears throat> the oppressors lately have been poking at us in every way. Not lately. They've always been doing that. Do you think they realize Dessaline is wanting to step up in round two and want to keep him down and out? <laughs> you know the answer. You know. You know. If they could right now, if they suspect. Remember how they tell the story in their own Bible? that when Nero was told that uh, a child was going to be born, blah, 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 blah. So he went around killing all the first sons and uh, that's their regular behavior. You already know it. That's what they do all the time in every situation. Okay. So I am sure you can give a much better answer than me because you see, Whenever we ask a question, the answer is already sitting inside of us. How was Bookman connected to Dessaline and the legacy of Asian Caribbean Revolution? Well, Bookman is an L. Uh, he is, uh, his time was 1792. Is He's going to end in 1792. Dessaline is probably sneaking around at night trying to get to this or that, but not yet an established personality. So very unlikely that they, you know, and the place is a big place, very unlikely that they had met, but very certain 
that people did not stop telling what Bookman did to Dessaline. So he knew about him and he knew that he should carry on in the footsteps. That's the way I see it. And um, those who took the front lines and left their footprints for us, we must not only not just study them, but study them so that we are able to walk in their footsteps. See, bookman duty is the man, the bookman. In English, no need to explanation. Bookman, the man of the book. And what do we know about him? A text where he tells us our identity. You are children of the divine. He will help you, but you must work to free yourself. That's the book he left for us. We must study it and draw from it everything we can and apply what we learn in our daily life. That's the legacy, what they left. How can we create the next wave of soldiers that would follow momentum of destiny? In my understanding, the first thing is, we said it before, we have to cleanse ourselves of all the Euro-Christian data, perception, definitions. We have a lot of garbage in. We got to cleanse. It's, it's a must. And it's unfortunate, but it's true. We have to admit, we went to the enemy's church. We went to the enemy's mosque. We went to the enemy's school. So when I stand before you and say, yeah, I have a degree in this and a degree in that, degree in this, degree in that, according to the enemy's perception, methodology, decisions. Okay? It's like right now. Everybody's talking about, oh, the Western, the West, the West did, did the West. What's the West? The West means nothing. Why should I use the West if I want to talk about you Christians? If I want to talk about the white men, I gotta say that. That everybody is clear. When you say the West, hmm. If I'm in IET, I am on the west side of the island. So that does that make me a Westerner? Please. Jamaica has a west and an east and a north. The U.S. has a west and a north and a, an east and a south. So the west means nothing, but that's a tactic for hiding. After creating and using and benefiting from being the white man, the white man, the European, the this, the that, if we were, now that we're starting to see them for what they are, they switch up. Oh, don't call us the white man anymore. Now we are the west. You in the West with us, so you and I, we're the same. No, I am not buying. Okay? So we have to be very careful that his ideas are in our heads. His perception are in our heads. We must clean that up. We can't take the African culture and put it onto this. We can't claim to want to be Kemet or nous voulons être African, pan Africanist, mais avec les règles élève la philosophie euro chrétienne. No. Ça ne marche pas. It won't work. We have to, we have to do the cleansing first. Remove a lot of garbage. Redefine things for yourself. Not long ago, I was in a structure where people were talking about black supremacy. Black supremacy. And I said, hmm, what does it mean? I don't know. I said, oh, yeah, black supremacy because we black people are this, black people are that. I said, I'm sorry. I'll have to think about it. I took a couple of weeks and I questioned the whole 
expression. I said, blacks, okay, yes, we are powerful. We get into any sports, we win. We get into any structure, we win. We are very, yes, that's true. C'est vrai, noir, tout côté n'allé, nous fait merveille. C'est vrai. Mais l'un dit white supremacy. Ma parle d'un système qui campe là pour imposer. N'importe qui ment, il veut le ça, c'est vérité ou valide. Est-ce que m'a dit qu'on black supremacy? Non. For me, we don't have that. We can talk, we have to come up with something. The same thing when I'm hearing people say, oh, we need to create the United States of Africa. No! Why the United States of Africa? Think of something your own. Don't copy. Don't copy paste. You are divine. You can think, you can create, you can invent. That's your nature. You have that freedom. Use it. Don't take what's already there. And that's creating havoc on our planet. Well, I think we are at the end. I really, really appreciate all the questions. Oh boy, that was, we had a thinking audience. Uh, Sister Dr. Ya, thank you for handling the Zoom and doing a great job in putting a lot of things out for, new, for us. Um, everyone that's helping, I know that Verona also, did a lot of uh, mobilizing. And of course, Claudia and Kwesi are, there's nothing, even if we had 10 million, we wouldn't have enough to pay them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And you, the audience, you who followed, you who came on the live, you who were on the Zoom, you who were everywhere, we say, Thank you, thank you so very much from the bottom of our heart. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your questions. And thank you for the support that you will give us today and every time. Thank you very much. Nous dit merci, merci, merci tout le monde qui t'a suivi, monde qui t'est dans Zoom, monde qui t'a travaillé quand coup docteur Ya qui t'a occupé à faire Zoom. Uh, uh, tout l'autre monde en Verona depuis l'Angleterre qui t'a bail coup de main tout uh, Claudia avec Wessi bon par contre ça vous dit encore mon ça yo passé nuit ni en 11h du soir nous en réunion minuit yo pas gain l'air yo pas gain bail yo travail dit et tout le monde dit oui baïna baïna mais c'est pas baïna c'est mon ça yo qui créé Tout structure est belle, encadrement, gâte, 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 qui j'en belle femme. Hein? Ça nous dit non ça. C'est travail quoi si? C'est pas moi. <laughs> Même si chita, chita là seulement. Ok? Donc nous apprécier. Et pendant nous là, dans la co-fondation, Gitchlin, Emile, Samus, Jessica, Chris Net, uh, tout l'autre a yo fait manger, yo nettoyer, yo décorer, yo inviter, yo mettre musique, yo faire moun danser, yo fêter papa yo. Pendant nous même nous t'a fait, yo parler tout, yo discuter tout, yo faire discussion. Même si nous pas capable porter nos côté Timoso ou t'es ouais tout à l'heure, on t'y va écouter Timoun yo t'a danser, mais nous bon un petit goût de ça qui a passé dans la cour fondation hein? et puis Nous remercions tout le monde qui t'a fait ça arriver, jeune Jean, Jeda, Marlène, nous qui t'a fait manger, nous qui a couru acheter, monter des sandales dans le marché. Tout ça nous t'a fait. Tout ça qui fait, c'est grâce à pile monde. Et à tout le monde, ça nous dit merci. Nous dit merci pour les ancêtres qui guident nous dans le travail ça. Nous dit merci à Jaco. C'est comme ça, famille te connaît l'elle. L'elle te timoun. Et Jaco. 
qui devant qui vient lieutenant de Saline, colonel de Saline, major de Saline, général Jean-Jacques de Saline, l'empereur Jacques, empereur Haïti, empire de la liberté. Attention, oui, c'est ça le marqué, oui, sous papier en tête, li. Jacques, empereur premier d'Haïti, empire de la liberté. Jacques, premier empereur Haïti, qui sait empire la liberté. Jacques, first emperor of Haïti, empire of freedom. That's what's on his letterhead. For everything you did, for everything you said, for every example you left for us, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Asante sana, nagode, to everyone, those we see, as well as those we don't see. Empower yourself. Be yourself. Close your eyes. Awaken the freedom, the health, the prosperity, the power that is sleeping in you. Thank you. Mali. I'm gone. Thank you. Take great care. Salino, qui ont fait un homme déjà, va quitter une tombée. Ou c'est vent yon garçon, l'autre li débagé quand son pays a un homme déjà, va quitter une tombée. Tout palais, maîtresse la palais, leader yon pas goûté. You monte de son galo mon pays a tranché. De salino. De saline pa quitte la pour a tombe. De salino. Pa quitte la pour a tombe. En pere. De salino. Nous en bas, déjà, va quitter une tombée. Jeunesse la barre, ça ne va pas avancer.